say the Easter Canticle that begins on page 162. He is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful <coughs> Father, we have erred and strayed pray, from thy Lord ways Jesus. like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name, Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of His great mercy has promised forgiveness of sin. To all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto Him with mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm you, strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, died no more. Death had no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ, Christ shall all be made alive. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Psalms for this morning are Psalms 93 and Psalm 111. Psalm 93 begins on page, is on page 457. Lord. 
Lord is king and hath put on glorious apparel. The Lord hath put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He hath made the round world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, thy state been prepared. Thou art from everlasting. The floods are risen, O Lord, the floods that lift up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The waves of the sea are mighty and rage horribly, but yet the Lord who dwelleth on high is mightier. Thy testimonies, O Lord, are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And Psalm 111 begins on page 482. I will give thanks unto the Lord with my whole heart, secretly among the faithful, and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is worthy to be praised and had in honor. And his righteousness endureth forever. The merciful and gracious Lord hath so done his marvelous works that they ought to be had in remembrance. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He shall ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath showed his people the power of his works that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are true. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption unto his people. <coughs> he hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding have all they that do thereafter. His praise endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the 25th chapter of the prophet Isaiah, beginning with the first verse. O Lord, thou art my God, <clears throat> I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wondrous things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For thou hast made of a city and heap, of a defensed city a ruin, palace of strangers to be no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. <clears throat> Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible one shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well defined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory, the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. 
And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Here endeth the first lesson. Page 10. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When Thou tookest upon Thee to deliver man, Thou didst humble Thyself to be born of a virgin. When Thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let I me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the 28th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning with the first verse. <clears throat> in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to, to the sea, the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, Behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples word. 
And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail! And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. And then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there they shall see me. And the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Here in the second lesson. Page 14. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us, in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant. We perform the, the oath, oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, <coughs> maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, 
hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that, as by thy special grace preventing us, thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, and knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely trusting in thy defense may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our governor, whose glory is in all the world, we commend this nation to thy merciful care, that being guided by thy providence, we may dwell secure in thy peace. Grant to the President of the United States and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in thy fear. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops, especially Mark David, our Archbishop, and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the helpful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, for upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men. Thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health in all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith and unity of spirit in the bond of peace and righteousness of life. Finally, we commend thy fatherly goodness all those who are anyways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions and this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God. Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us Blessing and to all, all men. We bless Amen. thee for our creation, Amen. preservation, Amen. and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of peace, grace, and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfaintedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplications on and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill
Fulfill now, Lord, the desires of the Christians of thy servant, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.